Hey everyone, welcome back to another lesson in this test and this test automation playlist. Today we are going to talk about how we can automate desktop applications in test and test test automation. So until now, test and test test automation tool have been supporting only web applications or API based applications, but they are soon going to introduce the desktop based automation which means you can automate your desktop applications using trust and test test automation. And that includes the SAP based applications, the .NET applications, any desktop based applications. So they will soon be introducing this feature for everyone, but currently it is in beta phase. So you might not get this feature immediately after you sign up for trust and test test automation, but it is a feature which is soon coming up. OK, so let's briefly look at what is this feature and how it works. So uh, coming to uh, the desktop automation, I will be using a very simple application which is available in Windows, which is the calculator. OK, so we'll be uh, trying to automate this desktop based application, which is the calculator. It is a Windows application. So uh, for this, uh, let's go to our builder and here then we will be creating a new test case so i will be calling it calculator okay and click on save and now we'll be adding our test steps here but for that uh, first we need to scan the modules right so we'll be scanning the modules here now in the x scan window uh, you can see that we have got two applications. One is our browser, uh, which is the first one. And then the second one is the calculator application. So uh, now uh, Trust and Test Automation is able to scan this particular application, which means it is supporting the desktop-based automation as well. Okay, so click on scan. And then um, going into the advanced view, we can see all the different controls on our desktop application. So out of them, uh, we are going to uh, select few controls here. So I want to do some calculations here. So I'll be selecting uh, some numbers here, five and four. And then I will also select the add button here. And then I will also select uh, equals, okay? So for now, uh, I, I just want to select all of these different controls just to make a simple addition, okay? And then click on the equals sign. So let's go ahead and save this module and let's go back now, okay? And under the scan modules, now you can see uh, the calculator option here, okay? If I look uh, at the properties, you can see here, uh, it is a button, button. So most of it is buttons. And then it is also identifying by automation ID uh, and also the name, okay? Okay, so the modules look good now. Uh, and now let's go ahead and build our test case, okay? So we will take up this scanned modules here and then we will put the calculator step here. So in the first step, I'll be uh, selecting my first number. So I will select mouse left click with cursor, okay? And then uh, we will also rename this step to uh, select number one, okay? Which means uh, the number one. And then um, we need again another module here, the same one. And here we will say select num2. Okay, so we will be selecting the other number. We'll click on this. And then again, another module, same one. And this time around, we'll be clicking on the add button. Okay. And then the final one would be to click on the equals one. So these are very simple operations which we are performing just to see whether uh, our tool is able to automate the desktop application, okay? 
So I'm going to save it now. And then um, let's also rename the other steps here. So we will say, uh, click add and click equals. Okay. And then uh, we'll save this and then let's go ahead and try to run this. Okay. So we'll start the run here. It will open the launcher. Okay, as you can see, it is now clicking on the numbers, right? So maybe the sequence was not actually correct, but it was able to execute all the steps. So of what actually I should have done is I should have put this particular step, right? So I can drag this step in between these two numbers, right? Because I need to click on this number, then click add, and then select another number, and then click equals, okay? So I'm going to save this. And now let's clear this and let's go ahead and run this again. Okay, so this time around, you will uh, get the correct result. Okay, four plus five, which is nine. So this is how you can actually automate desktop-based applications with your Dracentis test automation tool, which was until now only supporting the web applications. So this will now help you to automate all your applications or build an end-to-end -end test case to automate all the scenarios in your different applications. That's all for this particular video. If you have any questions, then please leave it in the comments. If you like this video, then please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.